Hey, it's Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com and today I've got something for you if you have a welding business or you use welding to make some money on the side. I'm going to show you some great techniques on how you can get more local business to grow your business and do it on jobs that you want to do and not have to take those jobs that you really don't want to. So I'm going to give you some great ideas, some great concepts on how you can do that really quickly and inexpensively. I know this is a big question that is always asked by a lot of mom and pop shops, you know. Uh, this is something that we dealt with when we were growing our business from the start, was how do you bootstrap? How do you go out and find those customers? Or not just customers that you really want, but any customers. Well, we struggled with this for a long time. And if we struggled with taking work that just, it didn't inspire us. It, I mean, it paid some bills, that's great. But that's all it did. It didn't make us really love the work that we were doing. And if you're owning your own business or doing work for yourself, that's kind of the point, right? Is to love what you're doing and love the projects that you're working on. So the trick is finding people who are willing to pay you for those projects. Well, this is what we came up with and what we've used to do that. Making models, making mini versions of things. When you're talking to someone who is, is, is thinking about having a fence, let's say you do a craft show or something, you buy a booth somewhere and you're there sitting for the weekend, you're trying to get people to, to buy some designs, maybe buy gates or sign them up for railings or fencing or something like that, and, and they're, you're trying to explain to them how beautiful the fence is, or you're trying to talk them into a design, well, it's easy for you to picture it because you handle these materials all day long, all day, every day. You're looking at these things, your mind thinks that way, but your customer's mind does not think that way. They don't know the materials, they can't picture it. So having little mini versions to actually let them feel and pick up and look and see the detail of your work is a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. It solidifies it in their mind as to, wow, this is nice. This is something I need. And this is really good for the battle of prefab fences, right? Prefab fences are the killer of the ornamental iron worker, right? When someone can just go to Home Depot and order a crap ton of prefab, terrible fence, right? I mean, you can go in and just bend it. It's not great quality. But when you try to explain it to a customer, they don't care. They're only seeing price. But if you can have a section of prefab fence with your fence and they feel the difference and they can feel how this is not coming apart and feel how they can bend that prefab, boom, solidifies it in their mind, this is what they need. They need your project. They need your skills. And now the great thing about you know you doing larger panels like this, larger little samples, is if you build something large enough, Say you build something like four feet long, you can actually take these and, and, and kind of display them and take pictures of them to put on your website. Now, now if you don't have a website, well first of all, if you don't have a website for your local business, you are missing out on a ton of business. 95% of our business locally now comes from our website. Now if you don't have a website and all that seems just incredibly overwhelming to you, don't worry, I've got something I'll share with you just a little bit just to make that really easy and a no-brainer for you. So I hope this inspired you to make some cool little models and be able to get out there and actually get people to get their hands on your craftsmanship to, so you can get better, cooler jobs. Now, you know, first, go to kingmetals.com and click on the design concepts. Now, when you go through there, the thing is chalked of just beautiful, amazing designs. Things I wouldn't even think of on how you can use all of their components and to piece something together really, really amazing. And the, the beautiful thing about the design concepts catalog is it actually gives you the item number of each little component. So like, you know, whether it's a spiral or whatever, a swirl, it's a C-scroll, whatever, it actually gives you the item number so you can get it, find it really easily on kingmetals.com. Now I mentioned before about having a website. Now I know a lot of times, if you're not web savvy, that is overwhelming. The thought of having to have a website is like, what? I, I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to start. I'm doing good just to Google something. Well, that's why we're going to start a service at the ethomewelder.com just for welders. We're going to call it Websites for Welders. And it's going to be very, very inexpensive. And we'll also have a service to where we'll actually update the thing for you. Now, if that's something that you're interested in and you want to use a website to skyrocket your local business, well, let us know in the comments below or come on over to theathomewelder.com. Let us know there and we'll let you know about when that service is going to be available 
and all the details involved in it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really, really great. So I'm Andy Fogarty from the at and I hope you were inspired by today's video, and I will see you next time.